Easiest chicken wings ever. Scene opens with Jacka and Ndang sitting in a street food stall, eating chicken wings while chatting. Jacka, Ndang, last night's wings were the best ever. Keep up the good work, must try. Ndang, oh man, you're right, Jacka. Those wings are just irresistible. I wonder what kind of secret sauce you use. Jacka, haha, -ha. don't know about you but I find the taste better when I cook it myself. What's your secret, Ndang? Ndang, hmm. You know how hard it is to find the right mix of spices here in Indonesia, Jaka. I usually make my own blend of seasonings. It's a bit of a science, you know? Jaka, yeah, a little bit. So, what's your secret sauce? Ndang, well, I use a combination of crushed red pepper, garlic, ginger, and a secret blend of spices that I keep under lock and key. Just ask for it when you visit our stall. Jacka, that sounds amazing. I want to try it out. And dang, you definitely should. Just be sure not to tell anyone else about it, okay? Jacka, no promises. As they finish their wings, Moss Try enters the stall. Moss Try, hello. Friends, how's it going? Jacka, hi. Must try. We've had the best wings ever. And dang. Oh. We've heard about your wings. They're definitely the best. Must try. Thanks, guys. I make sure to use only the freshest ingredients and a secret blend of spices to give my wings that perfect taste. Daka. That's awesome. Must try. We'd love to try some of your wings one day. And dang. Definitely. Must try. Come by our stall soon, and we'll show you how our secret sauce is made. Jacka, sounds like a plan. Let's catch up with you soon. Scene ends with Jacka, and Dang, and must try laughing and sharing their experiences cooking the wings. Alright, here's another story to add to the mix. Once upon a time, in a land far, far away, there was a young princess named Lily. She lived in a beautiful castle with her loving parents, the king and queen. Princess Lily was kind, brave, and intelligent, but she was also very lonely. You see, the kingdom she lived in was vast, and there were no other children her age for her to play with. One day, while exploring the castle grounds, Princess Lily stumbled upon a secret garden hidden behind a tall hedge. It was an enchanting place, filled with colorful flowers, fluttering butterflies, and singing birds. In the center of the garden was a pond with crystal clear water, and in the pond lived a tiny golden fish. At first, Princess Lily was afraid to approach the fish, but it seemed friendly and swam up to the surface to greet her. From then on, every day, she would visit the secret garden and spend time with her new friend. She would tell the fish stories, and in return, the fish would perform tricks, leaping out of the water and flipping its tail. Princess Lily was no longer lonely. She had found a true friend in the most unexpected of places. And so, the moral of the story is that friendship can be found in the most surprising of places all you have to do is look.